Back with more World Cup, this time Psychic Mewtwo from Team US West vs Snowy from Oceania. We have it RSOU, um, Nasty Chansey Balance, most likely a Rocks, Slack of Earthquake, Get Powder on with either Toxic or Whirlwind in the last slot. Uh, Seismic Toss, Softball Chansey, I assume either Toxic or T Wave in the last slot, either Wish or Heal Bell. The Excadrill could be FD th um, Spin 2 attacks or it could be Spin um, 3 attacks. Then the Tornadus has to be a Salt Vest because this team is a bit weak to Kaldeo. Actually, it's quite weak to Kaldeo, not a bit. It's it's actually weak to Kaldeo, yeah. The Mana Growth, um, I could see it having HP Fire because the team is a little bit weak to Scizor. Yes, you have um, a Suicune that could potentially burn Scizor and you have a Torn that might have Heat Wave. But after Rocks, um, Torn can go down to a plus 2 Bullet Punch probably. And Suicune, if it doesn't get the burn, Scizor can also just sweep the team. So I could see this having HP Fire potentially. Uh, probably some sort of common Suicune could be... Sub protect could be um, rest talk. We're gonna have to see that on Snowy side. Mega Scissor, in my opinion, has to have defog because five months, five months are grounded, and he has no other hazard removal, so he's really weak to spikes if he's not defog Scissor. Uh, probably Rocks Tran and Scarf Land, uh, Rocks Bedev Tran with Toxic Lava Plume Taunt, something like that. Uh, most likely Specs Kalio for breaking power. Um, Spore Giggy Drain and Mungus with Isa Sludge from a Clear Smoke and HP Fire. And probably Banta. Yes, I think Mewtwo already played one game earlier. I also recorded that. You can expect a lot, a lot more World Cup coverage coming. So, um, Tita versus Torn leads. You could see a U turn here from Psychic Mewtwo. And Snowy is either gonna stay in and um, pursue it or switch out. Yeah, he switches out. Either fearing the superpower or he didn't want to, um, like Pursuit probably wouldn't have killed because uh, AV Torn runs max HP, I think, or at least some HP investment. And if you Stone Edge the Hippodon would or Crunch, the Hippodon would have just came in and eat it up. So I think we're going to see the rocks go up from the Hippodon. I'm just trying to say, I understand why he switched up to Tita turn 1. Now, the Kelly or the Scissor could come out here for Snowy or he could also double knock off predicting a Whirlwind. Uh, Psychic Mewtwo can either Whirlwind or, yeah, he pulls a double into Torn because Tornadus covers the Kaleo and it covers the um, the Scissor of its Heat Wave. But yeah, it knocks off again. Um, I think he just predicted the Whirlwind. If he predicted the double props to him. But yeah, he knocks off the AV, which means now it's even harder for Psychic Mewtwo to switch into Kaleo. Um, Tornadus is free to click Knockoff here. He can also click U-Turn, but I think Knockoff is a fine play just to get rid of an item. Uh, well, U-Turn is fine if you don't want to get trapped by Tita as well, but Knockoff just seems to make a lot of sense here. So Snowy knockoffs again. I don't know if I agree with Snowy's play there. Now uh, he loses his Choice Scarf and it's HP as Torn. Well, I was just gonna say he probably um, should switch out if he doesn't want to risk missing Hurricane. He could switch out back into um, the Herpaudon. But he has HP as which is clutch, gets rid of the Choice Scarf Landris. Now Tita can just click Pursuit here, get rid of the Torn. Uh, Psychic Mewtwo knows that the Pursuit is gonna come out, so he goes for Knockoff to get rid of the Choice Band. That means that Suikun and Hippolyta are gonna have easier time walling this Tita. Now, either he can pretty much go to whatever he wants to. If he goes Excadrill or Metagross, he forces in the Scissor. If he goes Suikun, he gets to um, Fitch for Burn on the Amoongus, probably. Well, depends. If it's CM, it might even beat the Amoongus 1v1. But yeah, um, Hippowdon is a bit passive, so I don't think he wants to go to Hippowdon. I assume we're gonna see either the Suicune or the Excadrill come out. And the Excadrill can actually become a huge threat if it's SD. Because if it's SD, the Scissor is um, gonna lose to it 1v1, I'm pretty sure. And uh, if he can chip down the Kelly, then uh, potentially Earthquake can clean up late game with Excadrill. So let's see, Excadrill or Su Suicune is probably going to come out. Well, if he's at HP5 Metagross, I could also see him going Metagross. But yeah, he has to be a bit careful uh, around the Kaldeo now that he lost his Tornadus. So Excadrill is most likely going to click Earthquake here. And I assume we see the Scissor come out from Snowy. This is most likely um, just a defensive Scissor Impish. Roost Bullet Punch, um, either Knockoff or U-Turn. Probably U-Turn to get in the Tita and the Kaleo. That's what I'm thinking in the last move, either SD or Defog, but probably Defog. Jack like I said, his team is really weak to spikes. So Scissor is able to eat up the Earthquake. Scissor has to Mega Evolve and go for Roost. So I Mewtwo probably doesn't have uh, SD, because he would have potentially gone for it if he had it. Well, Earthquake was a completely risk-free play there, because it forces the Scissor to Roost, and it would have um, probably killed the Tita. So Suikun um, shows the Substitute. 
Scissor goes for slow U-turn and that doesn't break the sub. So that makes me think that it's probably a bolt Suicune. Uh, maybe max defense or at least near max defense. So now he has to either go Kelly and click Secret Sword or Amoongus. But if he goes Amoongus, uh, I don't even know if that beats the Suicune because if it core mines up, Giga Drain most likely doesn't break the sub. And pressure um, helps the Suicune stall out. Giga Drain PP, so yeah, that's the correct play to go into Kaldio. So it's most likely just gonna click Secret Sword here. Psychic Mewtwo can, um, if he has Protect, he can click Protect to just get some extra leftovers back. Um, Sub Suicune usually runs um, CM and Scald, and the last move is either Protect, um, which, but he doesn't click Protect here, so the last move could be Rest since he didn't click Protect. Like, Protect was super risk free there because the Kaldio didn't have leftovers, so um, if the Kaldio had leftovers, then he could have. Then he would have had to fear a sub CM Kelio. But since it doesn't have lefties, it's pretty obvious that it's a choice specs Kelio. So he goes for Hidden Power. I think that's Hidden Power Grass because it hits Jellicent. And is it Grass? It hits Dummy Jellicent. I don't know if it's, it's probably Grass or Electric. But yeah, now the Hippolyon or the Metagross. Like he can pretty much go to whatever he wants to here. The Hidden Power is not gonna do much to X Drill, Hippolyon, Chansey or Metagross. So it doubles in the Heatran there. Maybe expecting the um, the Chansey or the Metagross to come out, not exactly sure. But yeah, this is a free Earthquake for Psychic Mewtwo as Snowy is forced to switch out into... I was gonna say Scissor, but he goes Amoongus. Crit does a lot, um, he's forced into Scissor now, Psychic Mewtwo can just Earthquake again. Or he doubles into Suicune, breaking the Scissor makes it even better play. And uh, knowing that the scissor has to come out, and now he can just sub again, um, knowing that U-turn... Well, I think U-turn is... it might be a roll to break the sub, but I don't think it... I don't think it's a roll. If it's max defense, Kuna probably doesn't. It probably always doesn't break the sub. So now if it's CM, you can just CM up here. And I'm pretty sure Giga Drain doesn't break the sub from Amoongus. And Amoongus only has 8 Giga Drain PP versus Suicune's pressure. It has 16, yes, but since it has pressure, it wastes 2 PP every time. So now the next Giga Drain is probably gonna break the sub, but then the Suicune can just sub down again. Pretty sure that crit didn't matter, but have broken the sub anyway. So you just sub again here if you, um, the Suicune. Even if this Amoongus has clear smog, it doesn't work behind the sub. So Snowy um, should just switch out in the Suicune here. Um, the Amoongus loses when we want to the Suicune. Unless he crits a lot. But yeah, he didn't show Protect early on the Kuhn, so I'm thinking the last move is um, probably Rest. That's a set that um, German player um, Flo, which is um, Obliviate or Obliviate, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. He used it last year in World Cup. I think it's called Flow Kun because he made that set. Well, he used it the first time. Uh, it's like I don't. I usually I'm not a big fan of when someone says I made that set because you don't know if someone used that before you. Um, just because it wasn't used in a tournament game, still someone could have made it before you and used it like in a different match. But yeah, Kelly was forced to click Secret Sword obviously because the so you can has um, plus three speed dev boost. And yeah, Skull. Is able to tweet kill the Kaldio here if Psychic Mewtwo wants to stay in. I don't know if he wants to though because Secret Sword is gonna hurt. Okay, he actually <laughs> he actually eats that Secret Sword up quite well, so I'm pretty sure this is a near max death, if not max death, Suicune. So I don't know what Snowy even does versus this. He goes Tita, but um, if he's not Jolly, he doesn't even outspeed the Suicune. So I don't know if he's bluffing the Jolly or if he's really Jolly. But I assume Psychic Mewtwo doesn't want to stay in here because he can still rest up with this on the Scissor or on the Amoongus or on the Heatran. So he doesn't want to risk the Tita being faster. Well, actually he might. I don't know. Like, he either switches here into Hippowdon or he just clicks Scald. And if you're Snowy, and do you break the Hippowdon and you double out, maybe? Or do you just click uh, Crunch or Stone Edge? Like, I don't see Snowy winning this game, honestly. Like, Bantal usually doesn't run Jolly, so the Suicune should be faster, I'm pretty sure, even if it doesn't have much speed investment. So, Amoongus comes out. I don't know if he realized that the Tita. Oh, ah, yeah, he, he went to Tita to get up the Sandstorm, I guess, to chip the Suicune a little bit. But Amoongus doesn't beat this. There's the rest. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Is he Clear Smoke? Oh, he spores again, predicting him to switch, maybe. Okay, so he, he, I think he went Tita just to get up the sand, and then he went Amoongus to eat up the Scald. And he doesn't get burned, but you can see he only has 8 Giga Drains, which means 4 if he attacks the Suicune. So if he has Clear Smog, this is the time to go for it now. We know the entire Suicune moveset now, Scald, Call Mind, Rest, and Sub. I mean, pretty much was obvious to me after he didn't click Protect on the Kaldio that this is most likely um, the Rest, the last move. But yeah, the, the Suicune is asleep for 2 turns now, it burns the first turn, there's the Clear Smog. 
Uh, even if the Among Us stays in Giga Drain doesn't do too much to Suicune, so Psychic Muto is free to stay in here and burn the last sleep turn. What is Snowy gonna do? I don't know. He goes Metagross. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, Psychic Muto doesn't wanna let the Suicune take a, a Giga Drain from the Among Us when he doesn't have a Spadef boost. Makes sense. Um, technically, uh, yeah, that, that was a f that was a fine play. I thought at first he could have stayed in, but having Suicune healthy, especially if this Metagross doesn't have HP Fire, Scissor, like I said, can be a problem. So if Suicune gets too low, Scissor can become a huge problem. Um, so yeah, I guess yeah, he made the correct play. Now, um, either Scissor or Heatran has to come out. Probably Scissor, because um, Metagross sometimes run Earthquake to hit Heatran. Well, and this team, oh, he doubles into Suicune and breathes in the Scissor. Goat. <laughs> I was gonna say, on this team, the Metagross doesn't necessarily need Earthquake, because you have, like, Knockoff on Torn to get rid of Heatran's lefties. You have a Hippo and a Suicune and an Excadrill. So the Metagross might not have Earthquake. But yeah, Suicune covered the Heatran and it covered the Scissor, so great double by Psychic Mewtwo. And he burned the last sleep turn. u from Scissor does absolutely nothing, confirming that it's a super bulky. Suicune, he goes into Excadrill on the Stone Edge. He's just destroying his opponent. We see it's a leftovers Excadrill and he's free to click Earthquake. Um, if he's a beast, he doubles back into Suicune here, predicting the Scissor, but he doesn't have to make that play. I think he can just click Earthquake. But yeah, Psyche Mewtwo is in control. Looking like he's gonna destroy it. Like, earlier when Snowy clicked uh, um, Hidden Power with his Kelly, that was a weird play to me, but it didn't really matter, honestly. Because if he clicked Secret Sword to break the sub from the Snowy... Was it sub-up? I don't remember if there was a sub-up. But yeah, um, Heatran gets sacked off, okay. Was the Scissor not healthy enough? Or maybe the Scissor wasn't... Maybe the Scissor wasn't 2 hit KO. Yeah, yeah. The Scissor was in 2 hit KO range because of that nice double into Suicune that Psychic Mewtwo made earlier. So he was forced to sack something there. My bad, guys. I thought the Scissor was healthy enough to come in and take two Earthquakes. But since um, the rocks are chipping down the Scissor, it was in 2 hit KO range. So Sub comes out here. U-turn obviously doesn't break. You could see earlier that it only did 19%. So it's not even a roll. It just doesn't break the Sub. And I think the Suicune just wins from here. You call mine up. Giga Drain doesn't break. Even if uh, Giga Drain somehow crits through. Um, you just... Okay, it does break. It does break. Okay, you Sub again here. Oh, yeah. The reason why it broke the Sub was because the scissor did a u-turn and then Gigadrain broke but if the scissor didn't have the u-turn damage on the substitute then the Gigadrain wouldn't have broken the sub so as you can see here now it didn't break now this is gonna break obviously but now we can just sub down again and Mungus is gonna run out of Gigadrain and Suicune is gonna win the game for Psychic Mewtwo um, he can command up again here and then he can rest next turn as he clicks stun spore I, I don't know he accepted that he can't win so he clicked random stun spore. That didn't even matter what he clicked there, but I don't know why he clicked stun spore. So now Suicune is just going to go to plus 6 or just skulls, okay. Um, I want to see that Tita come out on the Suicune just to know um, if the Tita was jolly. Because I want to know if he... I think he just went to the Tita earlier to get up the sand and chip uh, cancel out the leftovers on the Suicune. But I still want to know if the Tita is jolly. <laughs> I don't think it is. I'm just curious. So yeah, so he can go to plus six. Now he's gonna spam Scald. Which is gonna do like 40-ish. 40, yeah. Doesn't get a burn though, so... I mean, it's over, yeah. <laughs> a Scald again is gonna 2 it KO this. If he... Um, I'm pretty sure he's out of Giga Drain at this point, because he's clicking Stun Spore. Even if he has Giga Drain left and breaks the sub, then so you can, can just sub again. And yeah, we don't get to see if the Tita is jolly, but I'm pretty sure it was adamant. So, well played by Psychic Mewtwo, but yeah. Suicune so is deadly versus deep, these type of teams. And yeah, he made a nice double earlier, and Rox put the scissor in range from 2 hit KO from uh, Earthquake from the Excadrill. So, Snowy was forced to um, sack something to Excadrill earlier as well. But yeah, well played. Expect more World Cup coverage soon. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, let me know what you want to see most. I have some black and white games recorded. I have Auras and I have uh, Sun and Moon and my man uh, Seal is doing ADV. Those are all the gens we're covering. I don't know anything about DPP. Um, yeah, if you want to help me out with DPP, hit me in the comments if you want to guest upload DPP for me. I guess I can try that. But main content is going to be Gen 6, Gen 7 for my part and Gen 3 for my man Seal. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Have a nice day.